Hi you guys, it's Girl Spy here on YouTube, and what you're seeing, I'm sorry, what you're seeing above you is a working model of a uh, archaic crane machine claw. I'm working on building a new one, y'all will probably see more of that in the future. This is a cardboard model as you can see, I use the screws here in the cardboard, I'm some hot glue, I mean, scissors, cardboard. This is a straight part to a clothes hanger. And basically what the main idea is, this would stay still, attached to the big thing that moves around. And this would be the lifter and the closer. Yes, it's functional. It, um, as you can see, it. I mean, it's not perfect because, you know, it's just a prototype of ba the basics on how the claw will actually work. So, say for instance, this was being held down, and still, this thing would be moving, you know, like that. Here, here's up high view of it. Um, you can see it's the triangle is the main idea. You want to get all of these attached to the triangle. I didn't measure or anything. This is it was just estimates. So that's why when I do this, you can see that the claw isn't aligned whatsoever but if that triangle was perfect I mean in a perfect world it would be closing and opening just right um it'll pick up paper towels I mean this really isn't for uh, picking up things it's just a demonstrator and a model to help me build the real one so um by popular by popular demand if I reach over 500 views, I will make a tutorial on how to make the model. Now, making the real thing, that's really time-consuming. I wouldn't be able to make a tutorial, but I could show you the basic parts. Um, don't ask how old I am in the comments. I'm 16. Not like y'all know where I live or anything, so... But... So, that's basically the idea of the thing. It's gonna be... A fairly large claw machine made out of um, some plexiglass, some board, and um, some plywood for the base and such. And it's going to probably have everything like the basic controls, like the joystick, you know. But I wanted to make it Bluetooth compatible. The idea was inspired by a YouTuber, I forgot his username, a YouTuber who... Um, made a big claw machine when he had like bluetooth and he controlled it with like a an RC race car controller isn't that funny like when I say RC controller are they meaning remote control controller or are they meaning race car controller you'll never know but um it took me about I don't know 45 minutes to cut out everything and I drew out the plans here. You probably can't see that because it's dark. But that those was what I that's what I drew out of how if the this could be a cable. It could be um. Well, I find it easier for it to be a stick with a uh, some gears up here, like rubber gears that would turn to cause this to you know whoop you know go up and down. Laugh it up. That looked weird. Ooh, laugh it up. Okay. But, I mean, the main idea, the triangle. It's all you have to get right, and you'll have a perfect claw. The claws, they should look the same. I mean, if you want it to be perfect. Mine are exactly the same. I spent the time cutting those out precisely, tracing them one, another, one against another. So... If you want to make these, I will, um, I'll probably put up a link in the description pretty soon once I put this on my website. On, uh, pictures, like, up close, like, the screws and the cable and stuff. You can use whatever kind of cardboard you want. I mean, I'll, I'll describe all of that in the tutorial. This is my first, you know, vid productive video that actually 
can help people in their projects. I mean, I've already said like the main things. I know I've repeated myself multiple times, but I'm the kind of very thorough person. So, um, the joints. I mean, there's only like six joints. This is hot glue. I mean, just because it's flexible and it'll do its thing. But in reality, with the real claw, this would be a joint, like right here in this area. That would be a joint, and these would be a joint where the screw's at. Now, I think the screws and stuff, that's just fine. I'll probably use that in the real proto in the second prototype. Um, I'm not going to disassemble this one. This one's freaking awesome. So, let's get those joints and make sure you get perfect triangles that the same length on each side make sure the claws are all the same length and the same shape and one of the most important ones is this triangle it should be the same as this one but do the math it should be proportionally smaller it should be like maybe one size smaller than this one just so I mean that'll be held still and be good I'm gonna grab a phone yeah yeah right but okay so, if you want to make these popular demand, I'll do it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have more videos posted in the future of the cardboard body for it. And I'll probably have some gears and stuff. So, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. Down there. Or in your case, down there, because the phone's like all up in my grill. So... I will talk to y'all later.